talk a little bit about what your impression of, of her methods were as you read the book and how you related those to our experiences. Um, yeah, that was actually one of the things that drew me into um, Anne Seek's system was that she had read most of the same books that, that you had read. I won't say that I had read because you... <laughs> You're the, you're the big book reader. I've read a couple of them, but you've read lots of them. Um, but I kind of went through her book list, you know, or just different books that she would reference in her book and go, oh, yeah, you know, we read that book. And we've applied those principles to our businesses, and they've been successful um, with marketing. The E-Myth was one of them. I know she references the E-Myth. Um, a lot of it was, was setting up your business to where you don't have to work it you know, 10, 12 hours a day, six or seven days a week. Um, it was setting up systems in your business. She talks a lot about that in, in both of her books. Um, and she teaches you how to set systems up in your business so that you can have a life. I mean, you, it, you know, in the beginning, it's definitely a lot of work, um, as any business is. But you can set up systems that are effective. And once they're set up, you still work to maintain them. And you, you know, you have to keep up with trends, especially with internet and stuff. You know, you have to study and keep up with what the new trends and stuff are. But um, it, she, she teaches you how to do that, which is what we had done, and be able to just live a life of not having to work for a boss, um, not having to, you know, really answer to. I mean, you answer to your customers, of course, but not having to answer to a boss, not having to call in whenever you wanted to take a sick day being able to take vacations, being able to go to your child's, you know, play at school or on a field trip or, you know, just whatever things you wanted to do to be involved with your family. You didn't have to get permission from other people to do that because you have systems in place with your business um, that are effective enough that you can take time off when you want to. Good. How much do you work right now on the business and do you think that your, uh, your schedule will change coming up? Tell me, tell me a little bit about what you're doing. Um, right now, I work probably an average of, I would say, four hours a day at least. Um, sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more. Um, and I, I, like I had said in my video, I needed something that I could do um, while Brooklyn was either, you know, before she woke up in the morning or while she was um, down for her nap or after she went to bed at night. And so it's not like I work four hours all at one time. You know, I kind of spread it out throughout the day. But um, it's, I don't know how quickly that will change. Um, eventually, you know, I'll get to where I don't have to work four hours. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure that will come pretty quickly, actually. I mean, now that things are set up and, and our business is running well, I don't think that um, I'll continue doing four-hour days. But the nice thing is, is, some days I do four hours and other days I do like 30 minutes, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it's flexible and that's the thing about having systems set up and um, knowing how to market your business is you just kind of learn how to put things on autopilot so that they work for you when you're not there having to do them yourself.